Hi everybody, it's Claire. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited you're here because today I'm going to be creating this step-by-step -step full face makeup tutorial and I am not holding back. And I'm also doing this with my friend here on YouTube, Beauty Bird, which I mean, hello, look at this gorgeous look. I learned so much from her and her tutorials and I know you guys will too and you will just absolutely love her. So make sure to check her out and follow her on all her social media and let's Let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. First, I am taking this Maybelline Dream Velvet Drugstore Foundation, my latest drugstore favorite. I love this because it's a semi-matte finish with about a medium coverage, which you can build to full if you'd like. I have a full review on this drugstore foundation, which I'll link in the description box below. On a big fluffy brush, I am taking Makeup Geek eyeshadow called Latte, a really nice warm tone brown with a slight hint of orange undertones, focusing that in my crease in a nice rainbow shape and even going to bring it into that inner corner of my eye. Then I'm going to carry that underneath the eye as well with a smaller dome shaped brush to really blow out this look. Sticking with the Makeup Geek eyeshadow line, I am now taking Grand Stand, which is a foiled eyeshadow. So you just want to grab a, something like a warm tone rose gold shade to focus on the outer portion of the eye. And I'm using a MAC 217 tapered blending brush to just focus it on the outer V of my eyelids. Now I'm graduating to a darker color here, and this is Mocha, a nice deep matte brown, also from the Makeup Geek line. They have amazing eyeshadow colors and pigmentation, very comparable to the MAC eyeshadows. I highly recommend them because they're much more affordable and really beautiful shades. I have been so excited for this part. Now I'm going to take a True Loose Glitter by Lit Cosmetics. I think they do glitter by far the best. I dampened my brush and picked up the glitter so it gives more impact to the look. I'm just going to press that on to the inner corner and center of my lids. Somehow I forgot to film me lining my eyes and creating a little bit of a wing. I used the Tarte Gel Eyeliner and then here I'm just applying L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. Sorry about that, not missing out on the gel liner step. But then I just applied my favorite lashes, the Ardell Wispies. Now I'm taking the LA Girl Cosmetics Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige. This stuff is a hot commodity. I am so glad I discovered about this concealer line because I don't usually just use it for my highlighting. I also use it for my bronzing. It makes it super duper easy for contour and highlight. But first I just press in some Laura Mercier translucent powder over the areas I applied my concealer. Then I take the shade in Beautiful Bronze from that same concealer line and I use this as my contouring shade. It looks just super natural and not just on my skin tone, on a lot of skin tones I've applied this to. It just really works and looks very natural hitting those areas where the sun would naturally hit. Now I'm going in with one of my new favorite lipstick lines. This is the Lorac Alter Ego Lipstick Line and this one is in the shade Seductress, a gorgeous pink shade to finish off our look. And that is going to complete this full face makeup tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I will list all the products I mentioned in the description box below. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Claire Ashley Beauty to engage with me and to see what videos are coming up next to get you guys excited. Also, you definitely want to check out my friend, Beauty Bird here on YouTube. She is obviously amazing. Look at those eyes. If you love rose gold, you want to see this tutorial. So make sure you check it out and follow her there and all her social media. I will link below. Thank you guys so much again for being here, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care. Bye.